What's up, peeps? Time for 2017-18 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey Half Case Break number 1. Never done, uh, well, not never. I've done a few hockey things here and there. But I'll be honest, I don't know shit about hockey. So this is going to be interesting. Well, I'm going to assume the dude on the box is probably the a good one to hit. Austin Matthews. Hey, I heard of that guy on Sports Center before. So I'm not going to complicate my life. I'm going to pick uh, the top six boxes and leave the others for some other time. The other time being tomorrow. All right. Here we go. Good luck, people. Anything that's National Treasures, Immaculate, or Flawless. Uh, and if I had to pick, I would go the Flawless route, Nick. That's just my personal opinion. Our gift to you. I don't want this shit. Oh boy. Alright, so a box of this has six rookies uh, per box on average. Doesn't say whether or not they're autographed. The upper deck canvas set averaging four per box. Um, how many autos am I getting in this thing? Hmm. Doesn't say. Alright. Well, let's find out. All right. So what are what are what are we looking for in this stuff? What are we looking for in this stuff? So looking for the young guns, clear cutter patches. So what's the autographs looking like on this? Like one every other box or, or what's the deal? No problem, Nick. It's really it's really all I'm good for. Forget it's technically the first now. No autos? Oof, that's tough. That is tough. Alright, I'm tired of opening packs, so I'm just going to take a gander at this stuff here. Alright. No idea what I'm looking at here. Well, that would be an insert. Cool looking cards, I'll say that. Upper deck, doing it as a checklist card, I guess. This is a shining star for Alex Ovechkin. Not numbered or nothing, but it's uh, refracting. Or foil, I should say. So I'm going to sleeve it. And it's Ovechkin. One of the few hockey players I know. Which uh, means he's probably really good. Is that a... Well, that was a panther. Portrait for the Buffalo Sabres. Rasmus Ristolainen. Can only assume it's like a short print or something. I don't know. You 
You know who I feel bad for? I feel bad for our sorter. Or sorters, whoever has to do this, because this is going to be a nightmare. Ivan Provorov of the Flyers with the Upper Deck Canvas. That's a cool looking card. The meaning, oh, another shining star here for Mark Scheifel of the, uh, what is that, the Maple Blue Leaves or something? I don't fucking know. Who, what team that is? The Jets. Okay, cool. There you go, Jets. Well, Beans, that's, I think, I think I'm doing a good job of, of that right now. Where was that top one hundo I passed up on? Here we go. Centennial standout Mario Lemieux. Boom. If nothing else, this break is going to provide comedy. Because I don't know shit about hockey. This is 2017-18 Upper Deck Series 1 hockey. I missed a young gun too. Well, you know what, Sheldon? Honestly, I don't give a fuck. Mainly because <laughs> everything is going to ship. I just, I really just want to know what to look for here. Mm, what the fuck am I looking for? Oh, this one, the young gun. The John Hayden. Yeah, how'd you miss that one? Fucking blind as hell, boy. There we go. We got John Hayden for the Blackhawks. There you go. Did I miss more out of these? What? I know. I don't think I missed another one in this. I probably did. I don't know. Let's double, double, triple check. Why not? Mm, no, I got it. All right, what do we have here? Well, there's a young gun right there, Alex DeBrincat for the Black Hawks. I know I butchered that name, but there it is. Mm, Panther uniforms looking lame as fuck right now. Centennial standout Ed Belfour for the uh, for the Dallas Stars. A upper deck canvas for Nicholas Backstrom for the Capitals. I, I like the canvas cards. They they feel nice. They feel nice. I'm I'm a skiing. All right, young gun for John Geelys of the Flames, the Calgary Flames, I believe. All right, Centennial standout of Peter Forsberg for the Colorado uh, assholes. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, what team is that? What team is that? Doesn't say, motherfucker. It's, it, it's, it's for Colorado. I know that. But I don't know the team. Sorry. I tried to, I tried to sound all cool. So that's what I get. Alright. I will say that the avalanche. Pff, pff, how did I, how did, how did I not get that? Like a short print or something? Not that I would know, but. An upper deck portrait of Mr. Carter. Jeff Carter. For the uh, Los Angeles Kings. Hockey cards have the best patch cards. Ooh. Now, now I'm interested. I'll be honest, man. I, I really don't, I don't watch hockey at all. I would love to get into it, really. Yeah, I just need this really hot chick to, to get me into it. The numbers on this would be on the front of the card or on the back of the card. Mm. 
like this one, the avalanche, this is numbered. On the front. I don't see the number on it. I'll, I will keep an eye out, though, for sure. I'm going to take my sweet time on this thing. Mainly because I don't do hockey. And I'll, I'll be, I like the, I like the look of the cards. I do. I don't know shit about the sport, but the cards look nice. They feel nice. They got some nice girth to them. Let's see which one. This one might be, I mean, I thought it would be numbered. I don't see a number on there on the front or anything. All right. Yeah, so I, I really want to, you know, treat this with some tender love and care. Because I know, I know that the hockey peeps are going to be super pissed off at Uncle Jesse. If I don't show them the, the proper respect. You get anything nice, Beans? All right. Let's see what we have here. Oh, what's that dude, Brian Little? I don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, Maurice Richard! Centennial standout for the Canadians. What? That's the case hit right there. Get in there, fucking Richard. There you go. Alright. Oh, shit. I can only imagine that this is worth some moolah. It's so weird to hear my name out loud. Anyway, uh, Rasmus Anderson for the Calgary Flames. And that thing is see-through. See-through to that clear-cut business. I can only assume that uh, this thing needs a, a top loader on it. Because that is nice. There it is. All right, John Carlson taping it up, all happy and whatnot. Austin Matthews, is that moolah? Should should I sleeve any and all Matthews? I, I don't I don't know. But that's like one of the few names I do know. An upper deck portrait. Oh, there it is, and Austin Matthews upper deck portraits. What do we got? Oh, those teeth are fake. What? John Guns, Nathan. I, I know, I know. Uh, for the Capitals, Nathan Walker. Young Guns, Mr. Walker. Case hit. Oh shit! All right, what else? I'm gonna find like the the most heinous name and butcher it. Paul St Paul Statsny with the uh, upper deck canvas. All right, go ahead and, take your and uh, the us uh, goes to the uh, who he play for. He played for the Blues. He played for the Blues. There you go. Right. Whoa, backwards. Nicholas Backstrom with a shining star for the Capitals. What up, Golden Boy? All right. 
Doing a little hockey action here. Upper deck portrait of Mike Hoffman for the Ottawa Senators. Shiny star of Connor McDavid. That's another name I know. So I think that's a big card for the Oilers. All right. Well, I when you know when I had Donruss soccer packs, that's that's what that's all I had. Uh, and now all I have is Pinnacle baseball. So it's not like we have a stock here of, of, of that stuff. You know, as soon as something is about to run out, we'll place an order for something else. Golden boy, you're Canadian. A. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know shit about hockey. Tom Wilson of the Capitals, uh, the upper deck canvas. It's a nice looking card. Thank you. A centennial standout for Ron Brindamore for the Hurricanes. There you go. Oh, you don't see that too often. A dude holding a stick up. What'd you think I was going to say? Miko Rantanen. That's the case hit right there. Andre Vasilevsky. I don't know why. I got to put a, I gotta put like a character on. Carter Rowney for the Penguins. For the Penguins. Oh, shit, it's JT Miller. Watch out, y'all. Another young gun for the Oilers, Kaylor Yamamoto. There you go. Send packs of prison basketball. Shit. Oh, look at the, the, head on, the head on that guy. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice hairdo there, guy. Woo! All right, and that was the break, you guys. Nah, no, it wasn't. We're going to be here a while. Because I said so. Gotta be forgetting this one. There we go. Hey, our gift. No, thank you. However, good news. Uh, I do have this uh, these silver packs that, uh, that we got with... Uh, the Series 1 Baseball. And there's some pretty cool, nice stuff in there. You want to pack a limited football? Ooh. Done and done. Once you give me money. Beans, you just noticed those bad boys? Come on, dog. Did you notice the nicest thing in my collection? Oh, yeah. Hold on, she, she's a little dirty right now. She's a little dirty right now. Let me wipe. Let me wipe you down, girl. You know, have a little. What? What is that? Oh, let's just. Let's just. Yeah. Nobody needs to know what that is. Shannon Elizabeth. Oh yeah. Fucking K. Daisy. Let me keep that shit out of this. Uh, this break he was doing. This is like a celebrity kind of deal. She's a big poker player. She could play with my chips any day. You know what I'm saying? I'll poke her player. You know what I'm saying? Alright, I need to stop.
Are you really beans? How do you even qualify for that? Am I, am I going to see you like on ESPN kind of deal? Oh, dude, Ronda Rousey in the WWE should be fun. I'm curious to see what kind of character she's going to take on. I really want to see her talking shit on the microphone. That is really what, what, uh, what I want to see. You pay entry fees and that's it. Is there is there no like a you know like a, a local tur like a, a district tournament you gotta win, and then once you win the district, then you gotta go on to to the states. Once you win states, then you go on to nationals and no, is is that not how it works? You name your cats after Rhonda. <laughs> ah. That's hilarious. That is funny as shit. I'm a, dude, I would love to go to WrestleMania this year. That thing's in New Orleans, too. Oh, really? Uh, well, limited football is not scheduled for today, Christopher. Limited football is not scheduled for today. We actually, we don't have any limited football scheduled for, for a while, actually. This is the uh, the last break of the night right here for eBay, anyways. But we do have more stuff on our website, ripcitycards.com. Check that out, peeps. Got to go, go to the local, you know, your local shop or whatever. And get you another candy cat and name that girl Rudy. Rowdy Ronda Rousey Pipe. Well, I don't know. Uh, what is this? Centennial for Guy Lafleur for the Canadians. Dude, I'm down to go. Beans. the 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 main issue, of course, is uh, the mon the monetary situation. Look at the look at the focus on Tuca. That's nice. You know, uh, oh, a napkin for Andre Vasilevsky. For the Lightning, the Upper Deck Game jersey patch. Not numbered or nothing. So much for the hockey having the best patches. That was a napkin. Upper Deck Portrait of Nicholas Backstrom. I've never been to New Orleans. I've always wanted to go. Uh, Kanko Man, I'm sure you're familiar with Christian Dacey. Uh, he actually lives out there in, um, in New Orleans. And he, 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 he said I could crash uh, on his front lawn. So I'm, I might hold him to that. Uh, you want me to keep doing the Russian voice for, like, all of them? Or just if I think he's Russian? Uh, I'm going to try the Russian voice on this guy. Tage Thompson of the Blues, Young Goons. That was terrible. That was terrible. Ivan Provorov. My bad. Not K. Daisy. I meant Kanko Man. You're right. I meant Corey. Yeah, I got I got my KDs and my KCs and my I got all that mixed up right now. Jonathan Toes going through a, an existential life crisis on that picture. All right. Don't we all? Don't we all? Anton Strahlman with the header. All right. Tyler Seguin of the Dallas Stars, I believe. Yes. All right. Yeah, this is a perfect one right here. Evgeny Kuznetsov's. Wait, no. Evgeny Kuznetsov of the Capitals. There it is. I got it. I got it. Look at that dude. Arturi Lekunin. A uh, Brandon Dubinsky. Over the canvas for the Blue Jackets. All right, Terry, go ahead and make that paper, baby. Don't work too hard, bro. 
It ain't worth it. Uh, Young Guns for the Kings, Adrian Kempe. Boom. What else? What else? What else? Centennial for Jamie Ben of the Stars. <sighs> hey, look at this guy. Mikael Backlund. A little too happy for, for my taste. Get concentration on Kyle Pulso. Mm, Operating portrait of Tyson Jost for the Colorado Avalanche. Okay, Doke or the Choke. Shining star of Mikael Granlund. I missed the young gun again. I thought I was, I thought, oh yeah, there it is, the C.J. Smith. Damn, dude. I mean, you, you, you don't got to do all that. You know, take care of your stuff first, man. C.J. Smith of the Sabres with the Young Guns. Good looking now, Sheldon. What else we got? That, what? That dude looked creepy, boy. Nicholas, shut the fuck up. Sidney Crosby with the Shining Stars insert for the Penguins. That's nice. Nicholas, where, where you been at, dog? Where you been at? You can't, you can't be coming in here all willy-nilly after weeks of not hanging out with your boy. Just talking straight up shit. I was worried. Marion Hossa of the uh, Blackhawks. I don't know. That Centennial standout right there. Oh boy, this is going to be a fun one. <sighs> Alright, here we go. A Shining Star of Hendrik Zetterberg. For the, uh, what is that, the Red Hawks or something? The Red Wheels. The Red Wings. Wow. It's it's all good, Nicholas. I mean, shit shit happens. Shit happens. Uh, you know, you you probably got a girlfriend or something, and she broke up with you, and now that's why you're here. You know, I, I get it. John Tavares with the upper deck portrait for the Islanders of New York. Still awaiting something to be like, oh my god, wow. Connor McDavid upper deck canvas for the Oilers. That's what it was, huh, Nicholas? You 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 got yourself a girlfriend and you forgot all about your boy. It's cool. It'd be like that. I get it. An upper deck canvas for Brent Burns of the Sharks from San Diego. I missed another one. There we go. Josh Hosang of the Islanders of New York. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, Vladislav Kamenev from the Nashville Cougars or something? I don't know. What the, what they be? The Nashville... The Predators. Ah, got it. Alright, there you go. The first numbered card, number 2 out of 100, and now it's yours. For the Philadelphia Flyers, Jacob Vorachuk.
is a nice. I'm trying really hard. I'm, I'm trying to put myself in like their shoes and like where they're from. You know what I mean? Evgeny Malkin for the Penguins Centennial Standout. This guy's creeping me out. Uh, Young Gun, Colorado, Tyson Jost for the Avalanche. Try harder. That's what she said. A big portrait of Doogie Hamilton. Teach me how to Doogie. Teach me, teach me how to Doogie. Or Dougie. Whatever. I'm only two boxes in. The fun has just begun. Uh, John Tavares, Centennial Standout for the Islanders. I use the Borat accent. That that is that is yes. That's yes. Yes. That is is so accurate. Is is it is true. I me and my friend Azamat, we are using the uh, the Borat from a Kazakhstan accent. Isn't is isn't nice, dude? That movie is fucking hilarious. I remember I seen like yo, I seen that shit right in the movie theaters, and that shit was wild. And that shit took over. Like everybody started. Everybody had like a Borat accent. I don't want this shit, right? So that got played out real quick because everybody had a Borat. Uh, accent and then I remember one of my teachers one of my English teachers showed it in class I guess he thought it would be funny and he got fired <laughs> like one of one of the students in our class I guess he did really did not enjoy the scene where uh, Azamat and, and Borat were running around with dildos and whatnot he thought it was inappropriate so he reported him and he got fired CBJ sent you the Ryan Braun penis card. <laughs> I'm surprised he made he made away with that. That was that's like the nicest thing in, in his in his repertoire. Uh, Nicholas, you need a dual cut auto of CBJ and CBM. I'll tell you what, bro. You go to the National. That can happen. Go to Cleveland, Ohio this year, August first through fifth. I'll get you in free if you don't believe me. As beans. Uh, Christopher, unfortunately, uh, I, I don't have uh, Vertex in. Vertex is a, was supposed to come out today. It did not. Uh, distributors really dropped the ball on that. Uh, but that product releases on Friday. I thought that was I thought that was CBJ's favorite player, LeBron. Cleveland isn't too far where you're from, uh, Nicholas. Well, like I said, man, August 1st through 5th, we're going to be in Cleveland, Ohio. Rip and Wax live, shout it. I had, I, had a, I had a lot of fun at the National. You know, unfortunately, I... I I didn't make enough time to like actually go out into the city in Chicago. You know, I, I did have a few nights where I did go into the city and I had some fun. You know, did some bar hopping and blase blah. You know, got to chop it up with the locals and shit like that. And you know, and I and I and I and I, I think I found myself in the south side of Chicago too, doing some shady business. <laughs> 
But uh but yeah. What do we do at the national? What we do here, except at a convention, the biggest convention for sports cards and memorabilia. Uh it happens every year. And uh yeah, man, we we, we stream live every day. And uh it's it's me and Jason tag teaming that shit going going in. And, uh, you know, I like to think it's a good time. Uh, I, for me, it's a good time. I can't speak for... Actually, I can speak for Jason. He does not enjoy it. He does not like leaving uh, his comfort zone. But to me, it's a blast. You know, I, I get to be in a new city. Uh, Jaden Schwartz for the blues there with the portrait. But yeah, man, we, we literally do what we do here. My boy bringing party favors, you know what I'm saying, to, to keep me to keep me at my at my maximum entertainment. Uh, that I don't know. Mark uh, Rech Rechi for the uh, for the flyers here. What's up, DJ? Uh, studio, you mean status basketball? I do have status basketball. It's it's uh, I do have it in the store. It's a full case. I did the first case earlier today, and uh, yeah, man, I have twenty nine teams left. Actually, haven't checked in a while. Oh, dude, Nicholas, it's definitely a lot of fun. You know, if you like if you like going to conventions and you like going to uh, you know to, to sports cards events and things like that, the national is by far the most fun you will have and and dude you get to hang out with me and jason in real life what uh alex formington of the senators with the young guns there um yeah dude it was it was all right there was a kyle kuzma autograph there was a dennis smith jr redemption uh and honestly those were like the biggest cards there was a lamarcus aldridge autograph um Nothing, nothing really super crazy came out really. Uh, Gustav Nyquist of the Red Wings. Which one is that one? Beans, the one with the tattoos. Is that? I, I believe that's the one you're talking about. The one with the tattoos. Real Monsters was the shit. That show fucking sucks. You fucking suck. I'm sorry, I'm way cooler than you are. Alex, yeah, that that is true. Uh, Alex Del Vecchio for the Red Wings with the Centennial standout. <laughs> Beads. Ah, you, my friend, you are something else. But you are not lying. You are not lying. Uh, for the Flyers, Samuel Morin with the Young Goons. How much would it cost to get into the Nationals? I don't fucking know, bro. I get in for the free, dog. And all my peeps get in for the free, too. Uh, DJ, I, I, I will upload the video for it after I'm done with this, uh, my dude. Uh, Johnny Gaudro, the Shining Star insert for the Calgary Flames. It could cost you $10, $15, or it could be absolutely free. If you're cool like my boy Beans. Uh, Thomas Grice for the Islanders. The Upper Deck Canvas card. Brock Bozer of the Canucks from Vancouver. Young Guns. Centennial standout Bobby Clark for the Flyers. Which one was the base the best one in the set? The Bowser? Gotcha.
UBD upper deck canvas of Kale Jarncroc. The Brock worth a hundred bucks. Oh shit! Let me go ahead and uh, let me grab that guy right there. Hey Brock, how you doing? Let me go ahead and uh, throw a little T loader in there. A little added extra security. There you go. Appreciate you, Sheldon. You you the real one. All right, what else we got? Robert Hag for the Flyers. Another numbered card, numbered one out of a hundred. Jared Spurgeon. What is this? The Minnesota Wild or something? That's actually kind of cool. Number one out of a hundred. eBay one one. Did I guess the the, the team? Hey, I guessed it right. The Minnesota Wild. Oh shit! Look at that. Your boy learning though. Boy learning though. All right. Let's keep it moving. Guys, I really appreciate you guys helping me with this. Cause truth be told, I have no idea what I'm looking at. Another young gun. This one upper deck canvas for Will Butcher of the Devils. What the hell? Oh, that that's that's the that's the super expensive stuff. All right, this I need to fix. What? Samurai Jack Mario? Are you fucking kidding me? I will. I'm not gonna lie. It was really slow. It was really slow. Yeah, I mean, and then people like hyped it up when it came out again, like when we were grown ass men. I still didn't like it. Like, whatever. Alright, let's see. 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 Let's see.
It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. What else we got? What else we got? We got a beard on that guy. I predict portrait of PK Subban for the Predators. Okay. P.K. Subban, Centennial Standout for the Nashville, was it the Predators? Nashville Predators? Yep. Oh, no, Austin Matthews, Shining Star for the, uh, what is it, the Maple Leafs? Oh man, I skipped the young gun. That's no bueno. Where you at, dog? Where you at, dog? Where you at? There we go. Will Butcher of the Devils. Thank you, Eric. Keeping me on my toes. Love you guys. Because if it were up to me, I would have been done with this. Because I have no idea what I'm looking at. Uh, upper deck portrait of Nazem Kadri for the Maple Leaves. Well, you did you did catch it. You, you did catch a young gun. I, I guess he wasn't worth what you thought it would have been. Uh, Denis Gurianov for the Dallas Stars. Young guns. All right. Nothing there. Could you believe it if I told you we're only halfway through? <laughs> right, maybe now it's time to speed things up a little bit. Maybe. I keep forgetting. You know what? I'm just going to do it now because I will forget. Come here. Come here. Done and done. And uh, I'm probably going to need top loaders, but uh, did I really, Golden Boy? Was it was it not the uh, the Dennis? There you go. All right. Let me see. Where it is. My ass hurts. I've been sitting down way too long. One of the uh, negatives of this job is I'm sitting on my ass the entire time. Where is it, Golden Boy? I, I don't see it. Unless I passed it in that other uh, thing there. Hmm. Curious, curious. I'll go through them again at the end. <clears throat> but I'm not going to waste the uh, the people's time here. I will double check all of it again once I'm uh, done with this thing. Listen, Nicholas, it's, it's definitely a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun. Yo, did you get anything nice out of those boxes, Beans? Uh, Cowboy fans, we're not doing Vertex Football because it has not released yet. 
uh, distributors made a mistake. Uh, that product does not release until Friday. So we'll do that break on Friday, Cowboy fans. Because that's when the product actually releases. It was scheduled to release today, the 31st, on Wednesday. That did not happen. Uh, you do not get 75% off, uh, Cowboys fans. It, it will be done on Friday, though, my dude. It will be done on Friday. If you want a refund, you know, I completely understand. I, 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 I'll take care of you. Just uh, what time is a good question. Let me see. On Friday, our first break is scheduled for 7. Um, uh, we'll break it at 6 o'clock, uh, Cowboy fan. Well, they, they don't give you free stuff, but you could do stuff like this for free. You know, you got to go to the PSA booth and get yourself a card. I got a, I got a bunch. So, Cowboy fans, we'll break it at 6 o'clock on Friday. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I will be sending out emails and, and, and notes and messages on eBay uh, for the people that are in the Vertex break. Uh, pretty much letting letting you know that uh, why it's not breaking today, and you know, give you the time and all that stuff too. But you heard it here first, Cowboy fan. Uh, Vertex football four box inner case number one is happening on Friday, this Friday at six o'clock. I do apologize for the inconvenience, man. I wish, I really wish I had that stuff. Because that stuff just looks really nice. It's a shame it did not come out today. As it was scheduled to. But you, you know, you can get some free swag though, Nicholas. You know, some breakers give away base cards. You know, I know for us, for example, we had stacks on, on stacks on stacks on stacks. Of base cards that kids kids would just walk by, grab them and you know, and trade them and whatever. What up, uh, Death Amongst All? How you been? Long time no see, bro. You too. You acting all brand new on me. Don't want to come hang out with me no more. Treat me like chop liver. See how it is. You know what saved us? You know what saved our ass last year, Beans? Was that immaculate football? That stuff was fucking gorgeous. What we should have done was bought a fuck ton of cases of prison basketball. And, uh, you know what I mean? We, we, we could have fucking... Was it Immaculate? I think it was. Imm was it Immaculate Collegiate Football? I think it was. Immaculate Collegiate Football is fucking hot fire. It might have sucked for you, Cowboy fan, because you ain't hit shit. But that's usually how it goes when you don't get shit. <laughs> you think it sucks. But when you hit, baby, it's awesome. Mm, I get the feeling... Uh, when it goes to the Blackhawks, the Stan Makita... Yeah, one the red the Blackhawks. Dude, the cases we had of Immaculate Collegiate Football were fucking fuego. Like it seemed like every case was loaded. Uh, Tyson Berry of the Avalanche with the clear cut business or whatever. You know that's what I just thought of that. Now I was like, oh man, we should have got way more cases of Prison Basketball. Held on to a few just to rip them at the National. And people probably would have spent stupid money at the National for it. All right. All right, let's continue this journey. Artem Anisimov, 
the Blackhawks portraits. Yeah, hopefully a, a sick ass product comes out uh, during the national time. Hayden Fleury of the Hurricanes, Young Guns. Young Guns, upper deck canvas of Dennis Gurionov for the stars. I, mean, I, I do not envy the sorters on this. This stuff is going to be tough to sort because we don't have any like hockey mats. So they're going to have to go one by one. Frederick Anderson, shining star. Yeah, I remember Topps Chrome. Uh, I had heard many a tale, mostly from uh, the CBJ. Uh, Cindy Crosby of the Penguins Upper Deck Portraits. Nicolaj Ehlers, Shining Star for the Jets. I'm curious what's going to come out this year. Um, I want to I wanna see the what Blowout has there. Uh, Christian Fisher, the Coyotes, the Young Gun. Oh, he did it at the National? Nice. On a serious note, though, my ass hurts. Uh, the next convention's in August. Uh, August 1 through the 5th, that's the National. So it looks like Stadium Club Baseball comes out the 5th. Or the, the 27th Museum. Tops Museum Baseball comes out the 20th. Uh, Top Series 2 Baseball Jumbo and Hobby comes out the 13th of June. Or July, I should say. Mm. Looking like a straight baseball kind of deal. It's coming up, uh, not really soon, but it is coming up in, in August, which uh, blinking it's there kind of deal. I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's in Cleveland, Ohio this year, so I'm looking to find me a little uh, Midwestern Bay. That'd be nice. We have Mikael Backlund for the Flames Upper Deck Canvas. You have a cousin from Colombia named Juan. Nice. Anders Jork for the Bruins, Young Guns. Is he going to come live with you or something kind of deal, Death Amongst All? I mean... Jerome Iginla for the Flames of Calgary. Centennial standout. All right, so I think it's safe to say that we're per I don't know, man. It's not safe to say. we still got other boxes to do, but not a single autograph. Not a one. Doug Gilmore, Centennial standout for the Maple Leafs. Shining Stars, Jeff Carter. For the Kings. He wants to come to America to spend time with family. Uh, Death Amongst All. Do you want me to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth? So help me God. Jonathan Huberdeau for the Panthers of Florida. Travis Sanheim for the Flyers. Is that is that is that good beans? Is that is that good? We just might have to hoard some stuff so we can rip it at the Nationals. Uh, upper deck canvas of Cam Talbot Orioles. 
Oh, really? Oh, it's a... Wait, hold up. It's a... Oh, you mean your wife's... Your wife. So it's like, hold up. You have a cousin? It's a he or she? Like, what is it? God. Oh, my God. I have not, Beans. I have not. You know, we, we rarely do upper deck products, man. You know, you know how that go? Need that brick and mortar. For the Jets, we have Nicolaj Ehlers, Rising Star. Jordan and LeBron Auto in un NBA uniforms. Well, that that is the beautifulness about Upper Deck is uh, LeBron and Jordan and Ben Simmons have autographs in it. Right. Mike Gartner, Centennial Standout. Right, Beans, exactly. Exactly. We don't have that. At least not yet, anyway. It's 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 in the talks. It might be in the works, but I don't think anytime soon. Uh, upper deck canvas of Brad marching to the Bruins. You guys, you guys like going to your to your local card shop and stuff like that. LeBron overrated. I don't know. I think he's rated about right. Uh, Jack Roslovic of Winnipeg. Young Goons. Frank Mahalovic. Make a bill Leafs. Oh, they are 5 by 7 basketball. Like envelopes. See, there's, there's always a catch. With that being said, the allure of Jordan... And LeBron, I think it'll be enough. Evgeny Shevnikov for the Red Wings. How do you you, you like going to uh, card shops and doing like the breaking thing online too? You know, because from what I hear, uh, local card shops aren't too aren't aren't too uh, aren't too aren't too happy about the breaking community online. Uh, Shabash, don't call him a hoe, Sebastian a hoe for the Hurricanes. Did I go through this? Yeah, I get the feeling I did. Yeah, I did. Did I? Yeah, I did. Dude, LeBron is like one of the most unselfish players ever. So I don't know what you're talking about there, uh, Death Among Song. It seems like you're just a hater, dog. Don't play a hate, man. Congratulate, dog. I mean, he, he hogs the ball in the sense that, you know, he's the Dude, have you seen LeBron's team? Like, seriously. Have you seen LeBron's team? He's the only one there worthy to dribble the ball. If I, if I was LeBron and I played on his team, I would ball hog too. You know, when LeBron retires... People are going to look back and really appreciate what he did. You know, while, you know now everybody's going to hate, of course. Oh, fuck LeBron, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> <coughs> you know, it's easy to hate somebody when he's on top, you know. But they only miss you when you're dead and gone. I'm not a fan, I'll be honest. You know, when he came to Miami, cool. <coughs> when he left, it's like whatever, you know. But when he played with Miami, dude, I got nothing but positive things to say about LeBron. Great teammate, unselfish, maybe sometimes to a fault, really. <coughs> Jesus, man. That is the one thing I would say would be the negative death amongst all. Is he's a bit of a diva. He's a bit of a diva. But when I think about it, I mean, put yourself in his shoes, bro. 
when the kid was 14, 15 years old, people were in his ear like, bro, you're going to be the greatest basketball player ever. Bro, you're going to go straight from high school to the NBA. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, the dude was 18 years old and he turned down a $10 million check from Reebok. How many 18-year-olds you know will turn down $10 million? Before he even plays a, 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 an NBA game. Like, come on, dude. Like, you, you know, you, you kind of have to put yourself in, in the shoes of some of these people, man. Because I'll tell you right now. If I'm if at if, if if as soon as I enter high school, people are already calling me, you know, the next Michael Jordan or Blase Blah, and by the time I actually become eighteen years old and I have people trying to, you know, put ten million dollars in my pocket before I even consider talking to Nike and getting a ninety million dollar uh you know, contract with them, like come on dude, like you're gonna get a bit of a big head, you know? Your ego is going to balloon. Especially when you have the skills to match it. Like the dude is the youngest player ever to score 30,000 points in NBA history. And he's not a scorer. Like think about that for a second. All we hear about LeBron is, oh, he's he's a passer first. He's a passer first. Oh, he, you know, he, he likes to get his teammates involved. And yet somehow... He's already reached 30,000 points for his career. And he's not even remotely close to being done, I think. I, I think he has a, another solid five to six years. The dude's never been injured. You, you know, like, the, the guy's a machine, bro. The guy's a machine. And he's, he's handled expectations and he's handled all the pressure extremely well, dude. Extremely well. But you know, I, I do I do understand your your point of view though. You know his, his snarky, snarky fucking you know little diva attitude and whatnot. You know I get it. It comes with the territory though. I guarantee you, you 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 meet you ever meet Michael. I don't know if your favorite player is Michael Jordan or not. Death amongst all, but I can guarantee you, you ever meet Michael Jordan, you would hate Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is an asshole. Michael Jordan is not a nice guy. You want to talk about snarky attitude? Oh my God. Michael fucking Jordan. And you would say, oh, he has every right to, you know. He never lost an NBA Finals. Dude, this shit LeBron does that Jordan could never do. Here we go. I kind of want to go through it, but I'm not going to like, I'm not going to speed through it because I will pass a bunch of stuff. Mark Mazier for the Rangers. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, I've never met Michael Jordan, but from what I hear, he's an asshole. Like, he is not a nice person. Ryan Spooner. With a napkin for the Bruins. You know, my thing is, if, if enough people are saying it, you know, it, it's it's kind of, it, 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 at some point, it's it's got to stop being a coincidence. And there's got to be some truth to it. You know what I mean, uh, Beans? Uh, Philip Forsberg for the Predators portraits. You know, I haven't heard, I haven't, I've seldomly heard a nice thing about Michael Jordan. Uh, Andreas Borgman for the Maple Leafs. He punched the ref in the face. I would punch a ref in the face too. Shit. <coughs> I need some water. <coughs> anyway, upper deck canvas, colon white. Senators. Oh my god. <clears throat> All right. Sergei Bobrovsky for the Blue Jackets. I know because I read it. All 
Are you for real beans? I did not know that. I did. Is that that makes that makes actually a lot of sense. No one talks about that. That's the first time I ever heard about that. It should make sense because him and Barkley used to be like best friends. Uh, Duncan Keith of the Blackhawks. <coughs> I'm a, I need to get some water here. Lucas Walmark. Young Guns. Hurricanes. That would actually make a lot of sense. <coughs> like, why would you leave a sport that you're dominating and could continue to dominate to play fucking baseball, dog? You might be on to something there. Lars Eller of the Capitals, number 14 out of 100. Nice. We have Philip uh, Keitel. I want to pronounce that like that for the Rangers. <clears throat> Patrick Maroon Oilers portrait. You know, I don't understand that, especially with, like, gambling. Like, bro, what you do with your money is your business, dog. Like, I mean, I can understand, I guess, because there's, like, a contract, a, a, a conflict of interest or something, you know. Because you could directly influence the outcome of the game. So I could see the collusion or whatever, but, oh, man, I don't know. My, my thing is, if you want to gamble, dude, gamble. Whatever. I don't care. Alec uh, Martinez for the Kings, upper deck canvas. Uh, Devon Dubnik, rising, uh, shining stars. Right there. Well, listen, that's a different story for you, uh, Death Among Stall. If I'm being honest, I think you're being a little bitch. Alec, Alex Ovechkin for the uh, Capitals. Dude, all that shit's in your head, bro. All that shit's in your head. You know, if you if you want a yes man, uh, I would be the complete opposite for you, Death Amongst All. I will keep you on the straight and narrow. I will keep you on the straight and narrow. I will be your no man. Instead of the yes man, I'll be your no man. Where'd you guys move to, uh, Death Amongst All? Pierre Pelote. Centennial standout for the Blackhawks. Congrats, man. We have Claude Giroux for the Flyers. Upper deck canvas. Charlie McAvoy for the Bruins. Centennial standout for Bill Barilko of the Maple Leafs. Which one? Charlie. Oh, let me click on that thing before it, it escapes me. Oh, shit. That's, that, that's going to be some good reading over a blunt later tonight. Uh, Nico Hishie of the Devils. Well, all those young guns, I'm going to top load them anyway. But uh, I do like to learn. Uh, Sidney Crosby, 
Centennial standout for the Penguins. <coughs> uh, Mark Scheifel, Shining Star for the Jets. I need some water. Holy fuck. The Nico $100 card. Where's that? Right here. Well, all, like I said, all the young guns are going to get top loaded. But, uh, you know, if you come through in the chat and you're like, yo, that's a big one. I'm, I'm just top loading it like right now. But, uh, yeah, all the young guns will get top loaded. Jack Eichel or Eichel for the Sabres over to Portrait. Riley Barber for the Capitals Young Guns. There you go, Death Amongst All. Hopefully you're not juicing. You 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 big enough as it is, dog. Eating ten pound turkeys, dolo. <clears throat> All right, listen, dudes. I gotta we gotta take a little pause here. Uh, <clears throat> fucking allergies are going nuts. I'm gonna just grab some water real quick. I'll be right back. Let me open this though. And take the packs out of here. So how do you like the new spot, Death Amongst All? Small town living. I couldn't do it. I'll be honest with you. I could not. I visited some family I had in Georgia a while ago. Not too long ago. And they live in this little ass town, bro. I was losing my fucking mind. Uh, before I lose my, my my throat, though, I'm about to fucking. I'm gonna drink some water real quick. What happened? Nah, not yet. You still alive now? Oh yeah, wow. That's some cold ass water. Holy shit. That's the thing, Death Amongst All. I don't like very quiet. I don't like very quiet. You know, I, I like waking up and, and trying to figure out, are those gunshots or is that, or, or are those fireworks? You know? I, I like going outside and, and wondering, is there going to be a drive-by tonight or not? You know, I, I like walking around my neighborhood smoking a fat-ass blunt. And my neighbors don't say a goddamn thing, because they doing it too. And uh, the last thing we want is coppers in our neighborhood, because uh, where I'm from, coppers aren't the nicest. All right, Beans, have a good night, man. Thank you for hanging out. We'll be back at it again tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Well, Schroeder, I like yours. All right, Beans, have a good one, man. Get that shoulder healed up. Masturbate with the offhand. Masturbate with the offhand. Well, what happens if you do get traded, Death Amongst All? I got to play devil's advocate here. You know, that that's kind of what I do.
Man, I like living in the city. I like living in the city. Even though I don't really live in, in the city, I live close enough to the city where, well, you, you, you wouldn't understand unless you lived in Miami. Honestly. Miami's fucking huge. Oh, Shorter, that, that is not the case. I, I don't do that. I don't play with the booger sugar. Not at all. But, uh, Mary Jane. That for show. But that booger sugar? Nah, dog. You can miss me with that shit. Although I couldn't, uh, an actual white girl, I, I could use a little, a little white girl. I'll take that girl to Pound Town. Population, her. I look like a hippie. <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you to go fuck yourself or I don't know. I guess I kind of, I kind of, I kind of am a hippie. But really not really a hippie. Like I'm not going to go out and fucking hug a tree. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go out and hug a tree. I'm not going to fucking do hippie shit. But I do have, you know, hippie tendencies, I guess. Listen, I, uh, listen I've, I've been with a couple white girls in my time. And white girls are fun. They're fun. But they do get boring after a while. Shorter, you are onto something. You're onto something. Uh, Alex Touch uh, took for the Golden Knights. You got offered more money to play for a rival team. Uh, I know you well enough to know that you're not going to sell yourself for something you don't believe in. Uh, we have Troy Stetcher of the Canucks. But I look like I smoke. <laughs> ah, that is fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. But uh, Schroeder, I mean, hey, you ain't, you ain't lying. You ain't lying. Alexander Winberg, Shining Stars. This fucking guy read me like a book. I'm going to do that shit when I get up out of here. Please believe. Uh, Ryan Johansson, Shining Star for the Predators. I get the feeling I passed up on a Shining Star. I don't want to do that. Have not. Sweet. Where, where? Hey, Jonathan Quick. Upper deck canvas for the Kings. Well, that's a Young Guns checklist. That's going to have to get randomed to either the New Jersey Devils or the Vancouver Who's a What's It's. Alright, put that to the side. After you retire from football, they're going to retire your jersey? Damn, dog. Can you go to the NFL already so I could just, like, piggyback off you? Uh, Grant Fur of the Oilers. Pretty please, Death Amongst All. The checklist one, Sheldon. That's going to have to get random. Rasmus Anderson of the Flames, Young Guns. Death Amongst All, just go to the NFL already. Hire me and I'll be your yes man. I'm sorry, I'll be your no man. I'll keep you on the straight and narrow. I'll be on you all day, every day, like a hawk. Tyler Seguin of the Ray of the Stars portrait. All right, so this one again, it's gonna have to get randomed. <clears throat> what up, four at you? So I'm gonna top load it and then uh, random it. When the time comes. 
Are those NFL teams death amongst all that you got offers from? Uh, Martin Brodeur Centennial standout for the Devils. What to do for at you? A napkin for the Sharks, Martin Jones. Uh, not yet uh, for at you, but I will get some on Friday. And I'm going to list the PYT uh, tomorrow. Thank you. Fuck. Dude, seriously, I got to clean this office. Fuck it, eh? Uh, Mitch Marner. Maple Leafs. Uh, Death Amongst All. Are you leaning toward one or the other? Oh, excuse me, guys. For sneezing all over your cards. I'm kidding. No, I didn't. Uh, Eric Carlson, Centennial standout for the Senators. We got Taylor Hall, Rising Star for the Devils. How old are you, Death Amongst All, if you don't mind me asking? Zach Warensky of the Blue Jackets portraits. Almost past this dude. Ivan Barbashev of the Blues, Young Guns. <clears throat> I'll tell you this. The Falcons, are. if you're concerned about winning, the Falcons are definitely on the winning side of things as opposed to the Jets. Um, you know, living in Georgia seems, seems pretty chill, man. Well, listen, I'm, I'm 28, death amongst all, and I'll keep you on the straight and narrow. If you're serious, bro, I'll quit this shit, and I'll, I'll be your personal assistant. All I ask is that you give me, like, two Gs a month just to pay for my bills, and so I can feed myself. Other than that, I'm on you like a hawk. Uh, Jimmy Vesey for the Rangers. Uh, do I ever... Have I ever seen a Mike Williams RPA? Uh, actually, I haven't. I have not seen a Mike Williams RPA uh, in limited. Not yet, anyway. Connor McDavid, rise, uh, shining star for the Oilers. Whatever you decide to do, Death Amongst All, listen, man, you're 22 years old, bro. Man, I'm listen, I'm 28. I'm not much older than you. But goddamn, I'm older enough to be able to tell you that right now, dude, Death Amongst All, like, right now is the time, dude. Like, I don't want you to be my age and then look back and be like, damn, I could have I could have been in the league. I could have did this. I could. I don't want you to be one of those people. And if you know, especially if you if you really are in that position to make it to the league, bro, take that opportunity, bro. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, man. And uh, you know, if if you're worried about people, you know, jading you and things like that, dude, that's the last thing you should be worried about, man. You know, think about your family, think about your wife, you know, your kids. You know, extended family and, and what 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 a difference that money could make for you and your family for generations, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, financial, you, you're, you're looking at financial freedom, bro, which is something that all Americans are look, are striving toward. And, you know, and you can do that in, a, in, in like, you know, in, a, in what, five years if you play for the Falcons, dog? Nah, dude, I, I wouldn't ask for 7 Gs. Just give me enough to pay for my bills, to take care of my shit, and feed myself, and um, that's all I need. I, Me, personally, I, I'm not going to be, you know, one of those people trying to fucking get something out of you.
It's quite opposite. I'll be I'll be telling you, man, if you're dead serious, I'll bro, I'll drop everything. I'll drop everything. I'll I'll hop in my Honda and I'll drive to wherever you're at and we'll and we'll get and we'll get this NFL career going. And I'll I'll be your fucking your right hand man, bro. I'll take care I'll take care of you. I'll take care of everything, man. Alexander Nylander of the Sabres, young guns. What what's wrong with your grandma? AJ Greer, the young guns, uh clear insert. I'm gonna have to sleeve this up, but I just ran out of sleeves. Gotta get some more. Be right back. I'm listen, death amongst all. I'm I'm dead ass serious, bro. If you if you if you really need somebody to to help you stay on the on the on the narrow, I'm your dude. Oh damn, death amongst all. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that shit, man. I am sorry to hear that. That I was not hoping to hear that. How long have I been doing this? Honestly, about 13, 14 months now. Haven't been doing this long. I'll be honest with you. All right. And I'm almost done with this thing, believe it or not. Joe Thornton. Centennial standout for the Sharks. Oh, Death Among Stall, for sure. You should always wait, man. Especially at your age. And you're ball if you're balling like you say you are. Let them let them keep knocking, man. We have uh, Jenny Kuaken for the Hurricanes, Young Guns, and that was the break. Now, simple random is going to occur here. The only one I have to random. Let me make sure um, these were the patches that came out of these boxes. This was tough to watch. I'm not going to lie to you. We got to random this checklist, though. Two different players, two different teams. Simple random. It's either going to go to the left team or the right team. Odd number, left team. Even number, right team. Good luck. Odd number one. So it's going to go to the left side team. The New Jersey Devils. Boom, it's done, going to the Devils. It looks like and uh, the recap, I'm going to recap uh, some of the nicer stuff. I went ahead and sleeved all the Young Guns and uh, all the Centennials. Uh, truth be told, this stuff, my first ever look at it. We had, uh, we had some cool stuff though. Luckily I have people in the room that uh, know their hockey. So they helped me out a little bit. So the this is what I top loaded. All young guns will be top loaded. All right. Uh, just keep that in mind. But these are some of the bigger ones here. All right. So we got Nico Hichier. I uh, probably butchered that for the Devils. Charlie McAvoy, Bruins. Brock Bozer for the Canucks. A Tyson Berry for the Avalanche. Top loader is a little dirty. That's a clear one. That's why I was cleaning it up a little bit. So you can see it. It's a clear. Another one, Young Guns, AJ Greer. The see-through business. Rasmus Anderson for the Flames. A Jacob Voracek to 100 for the Flyers. Jared Spurgeon for the Minnesota Wild. Number one out of 100. And Lars Eller. For the Washington Capitals, 14 out of 100. And that was the break, you guys. 2017-18 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. Half case break number one. eBay style. Thank you. We'll get that right out to you.